load location and extract. Once those files are extracted, you go inside the folder and double click on Excel point of sale .xls. If this is the very first time that you're actually running Excel point of sale, you may encounter a protected view. This is fine. You click on enable editing and this will bypass the protected view and force Excel to restart. Once Excel closes, you double click on Excel point of sale again, and then you will be allowed to set up the POS. Since we're the administrator as the first time user, we create a user ID for ourselves and enter a password for ourselves. This will bring us to the main menu. From the main menu, the very first thing that you're going to want to do is give your store a name, which will sit right here. And then you're also going to want to set up an icon for your particular store. To do that, you click on admin settings, select your ID, enter your password because only administrators can perform this action. And then give your store a name. Let's call this one Jason's Candy Shop. And we'll set up an icon for our candy shop. I'll just choose that as an example. Well, no, I can choose something a little bit different. Let's choose a candy image. Now that we have our image set up, we can click Save. And now from the main menu, we can see that we have the branding applied. We have Jason's Candy Shop, and we also have our custom icon that actually brands our point of sale system. Next, what you're going to want to do is set up products that you want to sell via your POS. This is very simple. You simply click on Add Product, enter your user ID and password because only administrators can perform this function. And now let's just create an, uh, the first product that we want to sell. Let's make this one very simple. Let's say Kit Kat. We can enter a SKU number if you have one or a barcode number. Let's add a price. And let's set up an image for it. I already have images stored, so we can just go to that location. And now we have an image assigned to that product and we click save. And it's now added to the POS. Let's just add another one just to have two in the system. So now we have two images stored within the Excel point of sale. We can click cancel to go back to the main menu and we're pretty much ready to go. So let's say we have a customer in our store. They want to buy a pack of Skittles. We'll simply go on to new sale, assign our ID so we get credit for the sale. And now let's say they wanted two packs of Skittles. We click on that twice, one, two. You can see that tax is automatically applied and you can adjust the tax settings also in the admin menu. Let's say that they gave us $5 change is automatically calculated and now we can check out